Senior football player Wilmot Wellington has been through a lot in his life. Wellington moved from his native war-torn country of Liberia in Western Africa to the Twin Cities when he was just six years old after a short layover in Ghana. As a high school junior, he moved to Fairfield, Iowa to live with his brother and then was forced to live on his own after his brother lost his job. After two years at Iowa Central College, where he was a multi-sport All-American, Wilmot is now settled into the Cedar Falls community as a UNI student and member of the track and football programs. Brad Wells has more on a student athlete who has overcome so much to be competing here for the Panthers. Wilmot Wellington has played multiple positions for the UNI football program. Recruited as a running back, he made the move to defensive back, where he's shined the last two years. Now his skills are being utilized as a starting linebacker for UNI. Well, Wilmot is one of those great combinations of speed and strength. Uh, hadn't really been on the defensive side of the ball much in his college career until last year we made the move and moved him over to safety. Uh, so every day is a learning process for him, uh, but he too has a great desire to get better, up in the office a lot, asking questions. You know, it, it proves, number one, that he's willing to learn, number two, that he'll work, um, and that he wants to be great. He's a great athlete. He's a big, strong kid. He's physical. Um, he runs really well, and, and, you know, he understands the concepts of what we do, so we've We've been able to move him around a little bit, um, mostly due to injury more than anything else. Um, but, but he's done a great job adapting as we've moved forward. And uh, you know, he's making just as many plays down there as he was when he was back with us. Also being a conference champion sprinter on the track team, it makes for an extremely busy life as a multi-sport student athlete. It's, it's, it's hard, because we you have to do you still have to do football workouts and all this other stuff, and then you still got to come back and do track on top of school. But I mean, you you got to squeeze in the time in there, like whenever time you have to get there and get practice in, and there's time you make time. Regardless of where he's playing on the football field, Wilmot uses his speed to get to the ball and make the big hit. You can see it. I mean, he makes plays um, with his speed. He, we've called him an eraser. Uh, in the past because he's so fast that once he sees something, he's got an unbelievable ability to go chase it down. And he's a great tackler too. You see it all the time. You know, there's a difference sometimes you have track guys who play football uh, and then you have, you know, he's a football player that runs track and there's a big difference right now. He, his speed that he has on the track can come over to football and he's still just as fast there. He has great closing speed and, and, and he's physical and he's powerful when he gets there. Wilmot brings a certain intensity to the field that inspires his teammates to elevate their game. He makes game changing plays. Uh, you know, he's probably the hardest hitter on the defense. And, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, the energy he brings to the defense, um, you know, he, he really gets us pumped up. The one thing that, that Wilmot brings is, is the physical nature to the game. When he puts his pads on you, I mean, he can put them on you. He's a big, physical, good tackler, um, and just continually trying to get better. He, he bought in, and he's not. He's got a ton of courage. Um, you know, I think if we asked him to run through a brick wall, he would do everything he could, and I bet you he'd probably bring it down. <laughs> 